a man faked a burglary and claimed his car had been stolen after his friend, who was banned from driving, rolled the VW Golf in a crash on the A30. The man and woman each pleaded guilty to perverting the course of justice on the day they were due to stand trial at Truro Crown Court. Appearing in court for sentence were Marcus Andrew Bond, 43, of Surf View, Newquay, and Kirsty Lime, 46, formerly of St. Michael's Road, also in Newquay, but now living in Plymouth. Lime, who runs her own events management business, also pleaded guilty to driving while banned. Prosecutor Philip Lee said Lime had been stripped of her license by magistrates in June 2016 for driving her red VW Golf while under the influence of cannabis. Ex on the Beach star sentenced for posting revenge porn on Twitter, he said the car's ownership was transferred to Bond, who works as a delivery driver for a national parcel firm, and he became the registered keeper and took out a valid insurance policy. Mr. Lee added, Data allowed her to continue driving that car without, on the face of it, arousing the suspicions of the police. He said neighbors confirmed the car was parked regularly outside Lime's address in Nukeway. The court heard Lime crashed her car on the A30 near Jamaica and on the night of February 17 last year on a return trip to Salisbury. The A30 Jamaica Injunction, Image, Google, Mr. Lee said the car rolled in the road and Lime's female passenger, who had no idea the driver was banned, was seriously injured. He said Lime later spoke to her passenger, who was taken to hospital, adding, she told her she would make up a story to ensure Mr. Bond would get the payout from the insurance. On February 20th, he said, Bond called police to say he was a housemate at Lime's address, that his bedroom door had been smashed open and his room burgled. He told the officer that Lime had stolen his £6,000 car. That statement to the police was false. Mr. Lee said, adding that a police investigation prevented the insurance company from paying out any of the money. The court heard the two friends were, apart from Lime's driving ban, otherwise of good character. They had known each other for 20 years and Bond was moved by a desire to help his friend, rather than for financial gain. The court heard Lime needed her car to stay in touch with her children from a failed relationship. The pair appeared for sentencing at Truro Crown Court addressing Lyme, Judge Simon Carr said she had been banned from driving, adding, you need to be under no illusion how serious courts take circumstances of this sort. Your reaction to that was to transfer the vehicle to Mr. Bond's name and I have no doubt whatsoever that you used the car while disqualified. He outlined the proved facts of case, including the crash and injury to Lime's passenger, adding, what you then did was together agree to lie about how that vehicle had been used. You faked, albeit in a very amateurish way, a burglary. There's no doubt it was a lie that was bound to collapse. What is depressing is that it's taken you so long to appreciate that. You have brought this prosecution on yourselves and, most importantly, you have brought the expense of it coming to court on yourselves, man sexually abused brothers after claiming to be social worker, court told for perverting the course of justice, both Bond and Lyme were jailed for 15 months, suspended for two years. They must also each do 120 hours unpaid work in the community. For driving while banned, Lime was also handed a three-month prison sentence, suspended for two years, to run consecutively with her other prison sentence. She was also banned from driving for a further nine months and her license endorsed with three points. Each must also pay £1,000 towards prosecution costs, which is higher than normal as the court trial papers had already been prepared. Judge Carr added to Lime, please don't be confused in any way. Another conviction for driving while disqualified will result in an immediate custodial sentence.
turning to Bond, Judge Carr added that he acknowledged Bond had acted out of character and said losing his job as a delivery driver as a result of his conviction would be wrong. Although this is a very serious offense, which has within it an element of dishonesty for both of you, it would be utterly regrettable if your employers terminated your employment in any way, he said.